Yo, what is up, guys? It's Shinron bringing you a video today on Bla uh, Call of Duty Ghost. And I will be showing you the best class setups and what you can use to mow down people in any game mode. And yes, any game mode. First off, I'm going to start off with my first class. This is the main one I use. It is the MSBS. And my attachments are the red dot sight with the muzzle brake. This gun is perfect. It's one shot, one kill, probably like 80% of the time. And it's fun to hear kids scream because it's one shot, one kill. And you just kill them one shot. They'd be like, really? It's, that's the best part about this game. Hearing people die. They scream so much. You got no secondary, no lethal, no tactical. And my perks, I have ready up, dead silence, focus, draw, quick draw, and stalker. These are some major, major perks you need to run the game. Focus, I think every class I have has this because when you get shot, it reduces the flinch when you get hit, and that's perfect. The next one I really, really like is Dead Silence. You move uh, silently, and it's harder to detect. You're harder to detect, and players are amplified, can still hear you, but it's okay. They, they have to be really have the crap turned up in order to hear you. Um, but yes, I hate hearing my own footsteps. It's annoying. Quick draw, the aim in fast. This is for uh, objective-based game mode, so you would need to aim in fast. You pop off that guy, and the next guy, the next guy that comes around the corner. Stalker, move faster while aiming. This is the most best perk in the game right now at this moment. Sorry if my uh, mic just got a little louder. I just moved it closer. But yes, yeah, Stalker is one of the best stuff in the game. You can move and you can just take out people so much easier and quicker. It's just insane how much it helps you uh, in the game. And for kill streaks, I have the assault package. I have um, SATCOM for the UAV when you throw up the UAV. And then I have an IMS. I use this for objective based game modes. I usually put it in B. People run in there. I think I got like 12 kills off an IMS. I don't know how. It's just multiple people running in there and getting killed by one. That's what really happened. Then I have my last one is a Griffin. This is where you, it's like a, um, it's like the little drone, and you fly it around and you can just shoot rockets at people. It's it's decent, but I'm probably gonna go to the Helo pilot. All right, my second loadout would have to be the USR. Um, it has the chrome lead, a chrome lined, or however you pronounce it, and a thermal scope. Thermal scope is a must-have in this game, especially for maps like uh, Stonehenge. I think it is. It's the big castle map and you will need a thermal people will be really far away you will need a quick scope them. I quick scope with this class so much dropped like two collaterals last game it was insane that game I didn't even get to record it because I didn't have my stuff set up I just wanted to play a quick game before I went to bed then uh, my secondary is a vector I have overkill on a uh, vector will come in handy you have your silencer and this is probably one of the best classes if you're a camper this would be a really good class for you Silencer with the vector, and you have to have overkill. My perks. Oh wait, I don't have lethals or tacticals. The same thing with all my classes. And freeze up perks. It's so nice. But I have agility on, increases movement speed. In case you're getting shot by a guy with an SMG, and you didn't pull the vector out in time, you go around the wall, pull out your vector, and turn on the kid. Your next one would have to be dead silence. Same thing. You don't want nobody, no sniper to hear you. You don't want a guy coming. Uh, you're following to hear you. If he has a headset or amplifier on. Incog. This is probably one of the most most must haves if you're a sniper and you're on the um, big castle map. Everybody's going to have thermals. No matter what. Because they want to see what's across the map. They want to see everybody that's moving on the map. And Incog, you're not seen by about everything. You can't be seen by uh, recon, thermal scopes, tracker sights, and motion sensors. Which is perfect. Then overkill is the last thing I said. And for my um, kill streaks, I am running support for this because I'm not going to be dropping like 12, 14 kills. I don't want to support the team, put up radars, know where everybody is. So I'll run SATCOM, Ground Jammer, and the Oracle. Oracle is probably the one of the best ones, and the Ground Jammer. I think Ground Jammer is kind of like an EMP, but I'm not sure what it eliminates in the game. And these, are, this is my top five best classes. Um, my third one has to be the Honey Badger. And I'm going to try to make this video really short as possible. But I like the Honey Badger. Use the Honey Badger with holographic sight. doesn't matter what you use. You can use your red dots, your whatever the crap's in this game. Uh, 
VMR and the thermal and all that crap. And then I have a foregrip. Foregrip's a must-have for this weapon. It doesn't kick much, but it's it's nice to have that accurate gun. Make sure you hit your shots, cause I'm not the most accurate person here. I have no secondary, no lethal, no tactical. My perks. I have a lot of perks. I am running ready up, on the go, because this is kind of like an SMG assault rifle, kind of like the Peacekeeper. So I'm running um on the go so I can reload a lot quicker dead silence focus amplify and quick draw I already explained what all these perks do you understand why I have these for this class especially since this class has a silencer on it with uh, the comes with the honey badger which is a brilliant thing that they did in this game I really enjoy that they are uh, actually doing something different um I usually run support no actually I run assault for this class I usually use the satcom um, I might hit the dog once in a while, might switch from the IMS, and then I usually have, um, I don't like the Loki, but I use the Helo Pilot, that's also, that's a really good one. Okay, this is, this next class is for, um, tight corners, close quarter combat, and all that stuff. The MTAR X, I use it with a foregrip, and a red dot, this is kind of like the Peacekeeper also, this is a SMG, and assault rifle, has the, um, the quickness of an SMG, and the lightweight of an SMG, but it has the range of an assault rifle, which is really perfect for this map. I use the red dye and foregrip if I didn't mention that already. I have no secondaries, no lethals, no tacticals. My perks. I have ready up, slide of hand, gotta reload quicker. Focus, you know you gotta have focus. And quick draw and stalker. Must haves. And last but not least, this is my last class, the ARX-160. Once again, I have a foregrip and a holographic sight. This gun also has a laser a laser sight integrated into the gun which is really cool oh if you also have colorblind on the lasers purple which is sweet I have run it with a caustic camo it looks beautiful no secondaries no lethals no tacticals perks I have ready up dead silence focus quick draw and stalker these classes work perfect in any game mode free for all um about everything free for all cranked I don't really play crank much because it's a KD killer to me because I'm I lag because of my connection is not the best connection in the world it is wind stream it sucks balls it takes forever to upload videos so I don't upload many but um then it, search and rescue will work for the honey badger I don't play infected kill confirm any class domination any class free for all any class um I hope y'all really take uh, some ideas from this video and use it in your own classes. Put in the, um, the comment section what do you use and I will try it out. Um, if you put it in the description, or not description, but put it in the comment section, I will use it and I'll tell you how I like it. I'll reply back to your comments and let you know what's happening. This is Shinron, I'm out people. 25. You talking about?